Hi, it's Mark Komen from Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. And in our continuing series of what lenses you need to make great pictures, we're going to talk today about the lens I use the most. We're going to talk about the lens that you should be using the most. The lens that you carry all the time. So I brought my camera bag today. You guys have seen this before. It's my Think Tank Streetwalker Pro. And inside it, I have my kit. Now, I'm lucky enough that I have a Nikon camera in here. I mean, you might be lucky to have a Canon or a Sony or a Panasonic or a Fuji or an Olympus, whatever you've got, that's fine. But this is my kit, Nikon D850, the Magic 24 to 70, we're gonna talk about in a minute, the 70 to 200 that you've seen before, and a 20 millimeter prime. That's what I have in my bag tonight, because I'm going out tonight to photograph, and I need the zooms, and I need a fast prime for what I wanna do. So this is my kit, D850, the camera I'm using right now. I've got the Nikon 24 to 70. It's an awesome lens. And why 24 to 70? Because it is the best versatile lens. It's the lens that I use for 60 to 80% of my pictures. It's my number one lens for family pictures. It's my number one lens for travel pictures. It's my number one lens for most everything I do. I love the 24 to 70 because it gives me a good range. It gives me a good series of images. It gives me pictures that I can be happy with. And I made some pictures, I brought some pictures here to share with you. Here we are in Havana, Cuba, right? So an action shot, the old cars driving by. Everybody wants the old cars in Cuba. This is made on the Prado in Havana. We're going there in January if you want to join us. 24 to 70 at about 30 millimeters. And I'm panning with the car going by. Here we are in Vinales, a beautiful scenery from our hotel room. 24 to 70 lens, just at dusk. Amazing light. And having the 2.8 aperture makes a huge difference. And here, from the D850 with the 24 to 70 at 12,000 ISO, lit by one dome light in the car. 24 to 70, D850, an amazing shot on the streets of Havana. We're here at our photo brew of Elena. Amazing shots with 24 to 70. Why is 24 to 70 the lens that I use most of the time? Number one, it gives me a wide angle view, 24 millimeters, about a 90 degree field of view for my scenery pictures, for my street photography. I can bring that into 35 for the man in the environment picture, for a group shot. I can do 50 normal, 45 degrees, and I can do 70, a little bit of compression, a little bit of pull in, a little bit of portrait photography. That's what I love about the 24 to 70 lens. A couple things you're gonna notice about my camera is I have the hard plastic lens shade on my camera, on my lens. Very important. If you're buying a pro 24 to 70, 70 to 200 lens, most of those lenses are gonna come with the hard lens shade. I have a high quality ProMaster HGX protective filter on my lens. You notice I have an L bracket. When we talked about tripods, we do that. And I have a camera strap that's mounted sideways so the camera hangs down. So this is the ProMaster leather camera strap. I love it. It works great for me for traveling. So this is my outfit, 24 to 70. I can't stress enough how important it is for you to save your money and get a 24 to 70 2.8 lens. So this is my Nikon, which is great. And I know a lot of you are not Nikon people, but you know what? Canon has the same lens. 24 to 70 2.8 and if you have a Canon 5D or 6D having the 24 to 70 2.8 is an awesome choice if you're a Sony person Sony has 24 to 70 2.8 it's a lens you've got to get now a cool thing is that Sony and Canon have an f4 version of this lens if you want to save a little bit of money and you want a little bit smaller lighter lens but to do that, you're gonna give up the 2.8 aperture, which I think is golden. It's so important to my photography to have the bright aperture. If you're a, a, a mirrorless person, Olympus, uh, 14 to, excuse me, 12 to 40, 2.8. Fuji, 16 to 55, 2.8. Panasonic, 12 to 35, 2.8. Awesome, fast, normal, 
zoom lenses that make photography great. Using these small lenses on the cameras just makes awesome pictures. Once again, if I had to go out with only one lens, 24 to 70 is the lens that's going to take 70 to 80 percent of my pictures. Amazing quality, amazing pictures. This is what you want to think about for your camera. Upgrading from your kit lens to the Pro 24 to 70 will make all the difference in your photography. It's Mark Komen from Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy, thanking you for watching today. Hope I inspired you to come down, ask questions, we'll talk about it, and we'll get you going with a pro quality lens that'll make a difference in your photography. Make some great pictures and I'll talk to you soon.